We only got one shot because once it's welded, it's welded, so. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, yesterday, we finally started winning on this, which uh, it's been a long time coming. This is, like our, uh, third, this is like our third day trying to mess with these wheels. It's off. What we gotta do, pick this up, get that out of the way, then get the weight out of the way. We'll put the weights on later. Get this lined up how we need it get everything working freely something i didn't show you guys so everybody who bought merch um it's on its way there's been quite a few people so pre-order ended the 22nd which was a friday um monday got the order in like i said it's going to take three to four weeks so pretty much figure a whole month so 22nd i'll probably have everything back in um that is in the works but I got something exciting that I was gonna show you a few videos ago. And, uh, well, I forgot. Here is the new stickers. So we got the Duffy Ag stickers, but Yanko sticker, because you know, he is the star of the show. So every order is gonna have one of them in it. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated when, well, you guys will know when merch comes in because I'll show you, <sighs> yeah, what goes on. But let's get this off. I'm gonna jump in the mini. We got some bolts that we got to take apart or broken pieces. Hopefully everything comes out. Um, yeah, we'll have to get some hardware. But from here, lift it up, out, and go from there. So beautiful day finally. Which is nice because we have plenty of moisture in the ground. So what we really need now is some heat. Um, and hope everybody in Vermont, Eastern New York is is making out okay i know there's a lot of flooding i got a lot of friends that have a lot of corn that it will probably be failures because of uh how much water is on top of them so corn's tough but water does some pretty significant damage so hope everybody is making out okay um and if you don't know they, there's places that got seven inches of rain and less than 24 hours in Vermont and all the rivers are flooded and it's worse than back when we had Hurricane Irene and yeah, no, no good. Alrighty, let's jump in. Get the mini out. Got to move this M up. I don't think I've started it on the channel at all. It's a, it is a unit. the mini instead of the forks you can get in and out of the mini a lot easier than the forks I, you got more ability to swing stuff like that so it worked the other day when Jono was here to help me but by myself I think we'll be able to do it better this way
So I had to double cut that bolt that was jammed in there. So cut the head off of it and then I had to cut the backside. And I just had to hammer it out of there. You think any of that is the reason why it didn't want to move? So I got to clean up all those. Still got to get that wedge uh, pusher bolt out. Well, got the wedge bolts all loosened up for the future. Got the cog lubricated, cleaned, and turning. That's a big issue. It builds up and then just a little bit of stuff gets in there and it doesn't want to move. Those bolts, we could have been here all the, the whole time and never taken those out. They're all rusted and stuff like that. They all look crooked. That might just be for me trying to get them out, but we'll have to heat that up and work those out when we get some uh, slow time. And then they'll go back on the outers. I don't like how they oversprayed onto here when they painted the rims. So they did that at the dealership. It did. It does spice it up some. So we'll clean it up and we'll do that. So as much as I heated this yesterday, that bolt wouldn't move. Now that it's out, I can just spin it. So something in between was just bound up so tight that, yes, I was worried I was gonna have to cut that. But, so we need one of these bolts, but we can put it back together and then go get one. Uh, we'll just put the side bolts on. But, I'll get that out. That's a win. I was worried we were going to have to fight that. Do I got a better pair of pliers over here? Maybe. Yeah, they're down there. These are a better pair. Snap on. Might need some vice grips on this, actually. Nope, there we go. Yeah, it just shows. Don't ever give up. Even how much of a pain it really is. We got that out. It will be much better now. That's a win. We are on. That looks a lot better. So now we just gotta move it over, put all the bolts in, and uh, put the wheel back on. This is how it's supposed to go. Huh. 
Okay. Unless you have actually moved wedges that have been that that bad, you really don't know the struggles. So I had a bunch of people, a bunch of good friends reach out to me and they're like, we've had the same battles and everybody, like when you get that and it moves and it lines up and you're able to move everything, we just gotta get the one bolt, don't worry. We'll slide it right in. And then we'll probably have to clean these up, paint them up again because I made a mess. We do have to figure out what's leaking. Hydraulics are leaking somewhere here and I'm kind of thinking it's this piston, but I'm not really sure it might be one of the CVs or SCVs. I mean um, But that is a huge win Like I hope I'm sure I'm gonna buy another tractor that has the same setup as those um, So we'll have to battle it at that point because well if you got to move wheels or take something off It's always a struggle 7520 used to be that way now you can couple hours I can move all eight wheels around so you do this and then uh makes your life easier down the road so we got a little bit of a gap we got enough stubs sticking out Ooh, we gotta throw this on still I gotta clean my mess up but we're gonna do one project before we put the pickup in here I would like to get this bucket actually utilize it and uh, currently as it's sitting here that doesn't do me any good and the one thing I've noticed on this tractor is this lock works very good this lock does not and if you see there's a little bend to it so somebody hooked something big to it at some point and this has done it since the beginning since I got it usually only one locks in but it's got a little warp to it right here so what we're gonna do is heat it up, straighten it out. And then I got these brackets. We're gonna have to do a little bit of modification to them, but they should go onto that and then we can weld them onto that grapple bucket. And then we got that. So one thing checked off, then the truck will slide in. I don't know how much we'll get done. Um, that might take us some, some customization. We will see, I believe it will. We're gonna have to cut some things and move some things around. Um, to make them work right But we picked them up from a gentleman last week or two weeks ago uh, Almost two weeks ago. I think so they've been sitting around but. So here's where we're at. We got a little bit straightened a little bit better than it was before I Do have some tension on that just as it cools down um, I Don't know at some point I might switch this to new style But it works for now just got to tap with the hammer in case so these bracket plates, they came off, not the exact same bucket setup, but fairly similar. Um, we're gonna do some cutting though, cause I'm only gonna need to here. So all this is gonna get cut out. Um, pretty much I'm gonna cut, I think right here over and then down and around. And they're actually a little narrow, so. Didn't even think about that. So we'll cut one of these out and we're probably not going to use this. We'll, we got to move it somewhere else. So we'll probably cut that out, which brings me to we're on the Vivor welding table. We got the Vivor uh, mag drill, the bead breaker and this bad boy plasma cutter. So we're going to give it a go. I have yet to actually use it. Um, it's been been sitting here for a while and I've just been waiting on a good project to use it with so it comes with an air regulator granted I got a regulator on the outlet side of it so we're good there we're all plumbed in okay so it says how much PSI for each thing so we're cutting pretty thin stuff so 50 PSI
thoughts on this? I like it, especially for the price wise of it. Um, yes, I got a hypertherm. Hypertherm does up to a half inch. Um, granted, that's like a $2,000 setup. Link is down below for this setup. Okay, so we are cut all the way through. I'm gonna clean this up, because then we'll weld it back onto there. Well, clean it up, slide it off, clean all that. We'll get our good spacing, line everything up. I'll be honest, I really just been jamming out and uh, well, can't have any music on when you're filming because you get demonetized on stuff. And uh, this is what I've come up with. So we cut it down, cleaned it up, just put this cross member, found, I got some metal in the trailer still that we gotta get emptied. Um, yeah, been awesome. This is well worth the money. Plus the welding table is well worth the money. Um, I've been hammering, doing all sorts of stuff, but that Vivor plasma cutter is absolutely awesome. Um, very worth it. So link is down below, plus every other Vivor stuff. I should start linking them all because um, they've been awesome to me. So, oops, they're going the wrong way. So it helps if you pull that up. There we go. So. That one's done. Got it bracketed around, reinforced there to hold it. Got the bracket there. Now I'm gonna be much quicker because I know what I wanna do with them. That does a pretty damn good job. Oh, helicopter. Back where I used to be, we'd see helicopters all the time, but out here, very rarely. It's gonna be a gorgeous night too. Well, gorgeous evening. Yanko's been up. I don't. He did come back. He was up eating stuff in the pasture. Are you doing good? The fact you were way up on the hill, I think you're doing okay. So he's on bed rest. But yeah, gorgeous night. So finishing up on the plates. The second, the other, the second side. I guess the other side. Taking a lot less time because I know what I'm doing now. Um, I've got a general idea. We just gotta reinforce a little bit of things. So. <laughs> what am I doing here? There we go. Locked in. Cross member. This one. Done except for the bracket going across and that cross member just cut that out. That thing's been legit. I'll give I'll give him credit. Um, I do love my hypertherm. Don't get me wrong, for cutting really thick steel, but dollar for dollar, that thing blows it out. I did learn. Make sure you get extra consumables if you're going to do many projects, because uh, I did burn through some consumables. Um, Will it fit? <laughs> oh, no. I cut that a little, a little too off, so. Not doing this the most professional way, but we are measuring, doing things like that. And it's getting done pretty good. A little trimming. Oh, there we go. Now we're set up good. So that just supports against it. Um, they do make a kit that you can buy, and I'm probably gonna buy the bale spears 
for moving big bales at some point it won't be before we get big bales done um just because of the price and shipping but they build a kit that has the whole mount and everything and then you just weld it on i think it was 385 so i don't know i figured i'd mess around these plates were uh the right price and well yeah we got them we're learning plus we got to try out that that so i'll weld this up we'll tack it in there um weld that cross piece like this one just some extra support and then we just got to do a little bit of cutting and then welding and we're done i like that it's not the most heavy duty thing but it was priced really really well um and the plates so we can get a year or two out of it and do what we want with it and not bend something be okay plus we can mess around picking smaller rocks and not have to get out of the tractor so but what i'm gonna have to do is cut those plates right off um they're not welded they're they're welded but it's not a whole plate so it's not no point in cutting it into sections and i'll probably i gotta do some measuring we're a little crooked over there <clears throat> So we gotta line it up square and see. I think we're gonna be like over here, which kind of messes me up because there is a hmm. A little plasma cutter action. Well, we no longer have the plates on here for the skid steer attachment side of it. So just gotta grind those up. Then we're gonna line this up to it. Probably tack it and then run a bead around it. And it's like 9:30. These projects never go. As quick as you plan, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw some things together and we're gonna be good. But yeah, I think everybody who does do farming knows how it is, or has a blue collar job. Ten minute job turns into five hours. Maybe it's just me, but all cleaned up. We just gotta move in and uh, tip this forward to line up with where we want to be. We only got one shot because once it's welded, it's welded. So. It is on. Welder's humming away over there trying to cool down. It is hot out. Like I am, I'm drenched. Um, humidity's back, which is good. Corn should jump quite a bit. But uh, got the plates on. We just got to get some hydraulic lines made up that will run back to the remotes. And we got to do some painting. So we got to clean some things up and paint some stuff. I didn't clean up all here, but... Yep, I am excited for that. So I'm gonna back this out. I'm gonna go make some dinner. And a uh, little short video for you guys. I got in the rhythm of this and I really didn't film all that much, but it's really not that much content to film anyways. But uh, tomorrow, back in the super liner. So we're gonna do some super liner trucking tomorrow. Different farm, same crew. Um, keep things rolling. So appreciate you guys watching along, like and subscribing, being part of the channel and I'm excited to get this working so that I can clean up some stuff. Um, yeah, 2755. It's been a great tractor, so this is only going to make it even better. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.